Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Only one of my earphones working. I'm a, if I'm right here, is it okay? Great to be back here at Hall's Gymnasium for some basketball action this evening. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing. Hi folks, this is Ken Dickerson. I'm here with Mike Chumber. He's a new coach for the West Kentucky Stars. Mike, uh, tell me your feelings right now on your first game. Uh, you know, I'm excited at the opportunity. Uh, I'm a little emotional at the same time. You know, it's my first game without Cam here. But um, I'm really excited. we got a great group of guys. that will be fun to watch. They, they give me everything they got at practice. And uh, I know Cam's there with me, and I'm just excited. That's the important it. thing. Now, Coach, we're playing the Bethel tonight. Uh, what do you think about this Bethel team? Well, I'm think? sure I'm sure they'll be good. They're gritty. They're hard-nosed. There'll be some good athletes out there. Um, but we've got some pretty good athletes, too. Uh, 
we'll be we're just excited to be able to beat up on somebody else instead of beating up on each other, you know. And we'll know where we stand after tonight, good or bad. All right. Uh, uh, good luck, and uh, we'll see you at halftime. All right. I appreciate it. Okay. That's is Ken Diggerson, West Kentucky Stars basketball action. Let's take 30 seconds. All right, this is Ken Dickerson back with you, and I am, am honored to introduce to you my partner for this year, Jake Scott. Jake, you played for the West Kentucky Stars. Tell everybody about your yes, – you had a great career. Absolutely. I, I played here from 2012 to 2014, so this is always going to be a place that is always dear to my heart, and it's great to come back here and to help out the program. This is a program that is just simply on the rise, and, and great things are coming. Uh, you know, it's getting colder outside, but it's going to heat up in here tonight. That's right. That's <laughs> uh, so right. So I'll, I'll give you the starting lineups uh, this evening. Uh, we'll first begin with the Wildcats from Bethel, uh, from McKenzie, Tennessee. They're coached by Coach Stanley. At number 10, we have Bryson Greer. He was a forward. Uh, number 15, he is Zach Richardson. Number 20, we'll be starting as a sophomore guard. He is Aiden Burton. Number 22 is Tyler Rumley. He is a guard. And rounding out the starting five for, for Bethel Wildcats, Matt McKinney. He is number 32. And now for the home team on the scoreboard, your West Kentucky Tech Stars, we have starting uh, Anthony Lee, a six foot four uh, guard. He will be wearing number zero. Uh, Kevin Welch, he is a six foot three guard, sophomore wearing number one. Uh, we have Kildred Gonzalez, a six foot three sophomore wearing number 11. We have Jake Williams, who is close from around here from the Graves County area, um, six Good foot four. Player. Really, really can shoot it. Really can. <laughs> he'll fill it up in a heartbeat. That's right. Uh, he'll be wearing number 20 out there. And someone that I'm really looking forward to watching is Pablo Bianchi. He will be wearing number 24, and he is six foot four. It's a very promising lineup, I must say so. You know, I've just taken a quick look at this. Uh, it looks to me like uh, we have a little bit of height advantage on them there. Yes, we do. It, it sure does look like it. Um, Tallest man I see is 6'3". Yes. 6'5". There's after, one 6'5". After talking to Coach Stanley, they're a very young team, very inexperienced. So it's it's exciting to see how they're going to come out here and uh, uh, to handle the pressure. This is both teams' first game, and uh, we'll see who jumps out first. All right. Uh, we're getting ready for the national anthem. Uh, we'll turn our mics around and let everybody listen in.
As you might have noticed, uh, this is a pink out night uh, uh, for breast cancer, and we'll have the start lineups, and you can get a look at our players here, new players. Pablo Bianchi is uh, from Brazil. Yes, he was. Sao Paulo. Yep. He was here last year, but he was he was injured, and he had to go back and have a knee surgery. He went back went back home, so his his father could uh, give him knee surgery. Father didn't uh, do it, did he? I think his father did do it. He did the surgery. It'd be cheaper. His father's a doctor. Yes. Man, I was just joking. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, this is the start of a, hopefully a successful season. Isn't it great to have basketball black, have yep. basketball back in, in the bluegrass? Yep. Good, good to be back. Uh, jumping up will be Matt McKinney for Bethel and Pablo Bianchi for the Stars. And the Wildcats get the ball. And number 10 brings it down, Bryson Greer. He's dribbling around the outside. Good man-to-man -man defense out there. A jump shot up, no good. And rebound by Bianchi. I hope that's the first of many, many. And Zero puts it up, and it's good. Three-pointer for Anthony Lee. Man, he looked like you shooting that thing. <laughs> It always looks good when it goes in. Oh, you're absolutely right. <laughs> and the steal from Bianchi. And Welch brings it down. He's looking over, pass it off, and it's a turnover. He got a little too excited on that one. All right, pass in to Bryson Greer. It looks like he's the playmaker, and it brings it down for a three-point shot. Good. Scores tied at three. And Anthony, three point up by number 20, Jake Williams. That's a good start. You know, there's one thing about the Bethel Wildcats, they will shoot the threes. It looks like the Stars are gonna be right there with them tonight. Little change in the uh, shot clock this year. That's two by number 20, Aiden Burton. It's a 30 second jump, uh, clock shot instead of a 35 second shot clock. And miss on the shot and rebound by number 20. 10, Creer bringing it down again. And he's looking for another three-pointer. And it's a foul on the play. He reached in and got a little bit of meat. That's a first-team foul. Foul there on Anthony Lee. Anthony Lee with his first. What about our referees tonight, Ken? Yeah. Are they worth anything? Yeah, they're good. <laughs> they're pretty good. Pretty good. I know these people about as well as I do anybody. The problem is I don't ever, if I don't write it down, I don't 
remember who they are. It's bad, get old. All right. Made one. Bringing it now, Bianchi, and he's a little out of control there, folks. A little out of control. Bianchi gets it back. Zero up. No good. And, boy, I thought he I touched that one. No, we have a good angle over yeah, here. Yeah, we had probably a better angle than he did. That's right. In the Greer. Bryson Greer. He's from Oakland, Tennessee. He's a junior. Wait Bring up. it in. 22 brought it in, but it's a charge. And it did look like it was a charge. It's uh, foul on number 22, Tyler Rumley. In the game, number three. 32 is coming out of the game for Bethel. He uh, looks a little gimpy, Matt McKinney. No, Rumley, he attacked the basket very nicely there, but, you know, we, we stepped right up there and took a charge. Coach Chumler is going to be very pleased with that. And we have a little arc out there, and That's if you're right. outside of that arc, it's a charge. If you're inside, it's a it's a uh, blocking foul. Man, that was nice, and he just got uh, manhandled in there. But, hey, Kilder Gonzalez got that ball and uh, – Look pretty good. It wasn't on the shot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's on the shot. Kilder will be up there for two. That foul was on number 32. Matt Mc no, it wasn't on. It was on number three. Rico Brightman. First shot is good. Now we see if he can make one to tie the game. It's up, and it's good. It's a tie game. Tied at eight. And Greer bringing it down the court, looking over the defense, trying to figure out who to pass it to, and he passed it over to number 20. Burke. 15 on the drive, and there's a foul on it, and he got him on the arm. Two-shot foul. You know, it appears to me that the, the Bethel offense is to pass it to the wing, go screen for him, and attack the middle. That's a good way to, that's a good <laughs> way to, that's a good way to play. That's the first one on Bianchi. First shot's up, it's good. End of the game for Bethel is number 55, Tangelo, Tangelo Harris. Tangelo, that looked good, Tangelo. Sounds good to me. And his second shot up, and it's no good. And Bianchi with the pass out to Gilder Gonzalez. Gonzalez on the drive. And it was off of them. We'll be taking it out. It's always a tough spot right down here in the corner. Kevin Welch will be taking the ball out. Get the ball in bounce. That's the main thing. Just want to get in bounce. Ah, a little short arm. Jake just short arm that shot a little sure bit and uh, didn't quite go. He'll, he's probably a little tight. Scored 98, 98, Bethel in the lead. Three with a little two point jump shot up. That was Britman with the jump shot. Good ball movement. Way to tight the basket, Nice, Pablo. nice. I do. Pablo, I already like him. Yes. 15, three-point shot up. It's no good. Bianchi with the rebound. He's had a few of those. And it's a charge. Uh, I'll tell you what. Number 20 had it all the way yes. there. He was waiting for him to it's turn. He well turned right into down. him. That's two on Bianchi. Now that's a problem. You haven't even four minutes in the game. He's got two fouls. So he's going over to the bench and. Uh, yeah, you just like his presence in the lane. He's a tough physical man. Uh, him and Gonzalez are going to be doing a lot of the dirty work, it appears. Yeah, and into the game is number. Yeah. 
good effort there by Jake Williams. Nice pass. Nice that was high, and he was bumped on it, but they didn't call it. Yes. Anthony Lee with the shot. Number four, Ben Dix is into the game. He's got the pink long sleeve on. 22, trying to drive around and uh, didn't have a shot and pass it out. That's the thing to do, but now he's down to 10 seconds and foul on number 11. That was not too smart. No, it wasn't. Foul on Gonzalez, what, 30, 40 feet away from the basket. It's not what you Yeah, and, and, and you can't, you know, you can't do stupid. And that was a <laughs> stupid foul. That play a little, was bit a little walk, but they let it go. See, I like to see. Oh, we got a little foul on the. I like uh, the stars this year so far. They're looking to get the rebound and and run with it. You know, you're able to get a lot of fast break points that way. End of the game, DJ Washington. That last foul was on Tangelo Harris. Tangelo Harris. End of the game, 33. Da Davion Anderson. Bringing it down the court, Jake Williams. Jake Williams looking over the defense. Gilbert Gonzalez passes it back out to, and a nice long three-point shot up, no good. Use a little elbow there. Yes. Good thing he didn't uh, connect. Nice steal. Nice steal. Kilder coming down the court, coming down the court, and he reached in there, and that was number 20 for Bethel, and he reached in, and he definitely got him, Aiden Burton. That's four team fouls apiece, folks. That was the first one on Burton. Gilder Gonzalez has the ball. DJ, back to Gonzalez. Number 20 likes that outside shot, but that was a beautiful little shot, just didn't go. That was nice, he had nice control. Yes. He had good position. You know, for a shooter, you, gotta have, a, you gotta have to make sure you can pump fake, drive to the lane, and you know, I like what he did there. He pulled up, tried to use the glass, but you know, just blow it off. Do it again, but make it next time. Yeah, yeah. And on the rebound, number three gives it to number 20, he lays it in. That's five points there for Jake, Jake Williams. Williams with the lay in. All right, folks, let's take us a 30 second break. This is West Kentucky Star basketball action. All right, folks, we're back here at uh, Hall's Gymnasium. West Kentucky Stars leading 14 to 11. And the throw in. Creason with the ball. Creer. Creer. And Bethel trying to move it around. And a steal by Gilder Gonzalez. He goes in. Oh, I don't know about that, but they said he walked. He walked. You think it was a walk? It did look a little funny. Yeah. That, you know what? I could just if it looks funny, it too. is. <laughs> They're trying to weave it around the outside. 20 with a jump shot up, and that was not a good shot. The only thing good about it was a rebound by 33. Put it back in. Matt McKinney. And a throw away. So by uh, the Stars. So. You know that last three uh, or that jump shot, that could have just been a pass. Davion right Anderson. Place. And it was off of uh, just, I'll tell you what, it's a little, uh, a little sloppy. Yeah, a little sloppy right now. You know, both teams still just getting the rust off. This is the first game for both teams. And number three. Ooh, I don't like that stopping like that. I think he split them. What do you think? Yeah. Three point shot up and good. 
That's his second three of the evening. 17 to 13, stars in the lead. And another steal, number 20 with the lay-in. Jake Williams putting a bunch of them in there, isn't he? That, that's 10 points very quickly here in the first half for Jake Williams. Team has 19. Now they got the wrong people bringing that thing down the court. Now the only thing good was the lay-in. And that was a pretty rebound and a putback. And nah, <laughs> he's going to beg. I don't know what he beg him about, do you? I'm not sure what he's talking to referee there for. <laughs> yeah, best yeah, thing for him to do is just. Uh, you know, that's one of the easiest calls in the book right there. You know, players don't want it. You know, it's accidental. All right, into the game, number 12 and number 15 for Bethel. That's uh, Hayden Carey, Zach Richardson, and 55's in the game, Tangelo Harris. I think that's three came in. And I don't have the one came in for us. Zach Kibler's in. That's the one came in. Oh, he, he did get the foul. That's, that's. I'm going to give number 12. Corey. Harry. Hayden Carey with his first. At the line for two, Kevin Welch. It's good. 22 to 15. Stars in the lead. 12.58 to go in the game. One dribble and put it in. That's an awful big number for uh, that uh, skinny guard there, 55. And another steal by number one. He's going down the court and Whoa. I would just see the easy play made there. Yeah, nice they made it. They made a hard play from an easy play, and that was not the way to do it. That should have been a foul call because yeah. he bumped them, and it made a difference yes. in the play. It right was a turnover. Play up there for and that's uh, a referee knows that's when you call a foul. And Zach over to Kevin Welch. Three with a jump shot up, no good. That was a tough, ooh, I think he missed it. That was a very tough play right there. Yeah. Uh, you want to see him having his first shot of playing college basketball to be a little bit more in the rhythm. Uh, so hopefully have a better, better chance of going in. Into the game for the Wildcats, Rico Brightman, number three. Yeah, you don't see too many uh, point guards with a 55 number, do you? That's no, you know. <laughs> it might just ran out. We're not in numbers. They're weaving it around the outside. He puts a shot up, no good. And traveling violation. Traveling. Remember, folks, this is the first game for both, I believe, for both teams. I'm not sure about Bethel. I know it's our first game. And uh, early in the season, it's looking a little rough right now. And we're, whoa, and a turnover by Ben Dix. That's a little, you know, miscommunication there. Get a few more games running through He zigged when he should have zagged. That's right. You know, you'll be able to learn your teammates, how they, how they cut and interact. I just, I just come to time. DJ Washington really checking him, coming down. He ain't let, he's not letting him get away. That was a nice shot. That was a real nice shot. Number 22, Tyler Runley with a real good one. A three-point shot up by, now, now, I, I don't want to be picky, but Zach Kimbler does not need to be taking three-point shots until the game is out of control. That's, you know, Am I, I right? I, I will agree with that. Yeah. No comment, but I agree. No comment. No, well, no you agree. Comment, That's I a agree. comment. All right, here we go. Throw it around the outside. 
know, Bethel, they always look to take that open three, but you know, I like how they're being aggressive and they'll take the basket. To drive to the basket. That was a real nice pass. Number three put that in. Brightman. That's four. And that was a real good assist on the play. You know, that's right there is what we want to see Kimber doing. Like, that's absolutely, that's absolutely want. right. You know, don't be discouraged that you just got your shot blocked. Continue your job in there. The Wildcats are coming back in this. It's 23-21, and we had a pretty good lead for a while. 10.42 to go in the first half. D.J. Washington, number three there. He, he's from Henderson County. He's a, he's a true point guard. Uh, he, he really knows how to, to lead yeah. the team. I'm surprised they didn't call a foul on that one. He reached around, got him and yeah. the ball. Whoa, whoa. Mr. Kimler okay. Yeah, yeah. he's okay. He, made, he, he fouled him, and he, he definitely charged. It's his first five, uh, 16 fouls on us and five on them. The Bethel defender, he just got right side of that arc and just waited for him to come, you know. Well, nice. I don't know if it scared him, it scared me then. It yeah, scared he, him. He's carrying that ball a little bit. I wonder when they're going to start calling that. The nice little pass there. Nice, nice, nice. Rico Brightman with another one. Yep, that's six, for, six points for Brightman now. Good spin move. Taking around the outside, looking for an open shot. Plenty of time on the clock, 15 seconds. Zach back out. Washington puts a three-point shot up, no good. He ran out of time and didn't know what to do with it. And a foul on the play. Foul, foul there, his first, Kevin Welch. He was trying to get a charge call there, but you know, that was right on top of that. That's Yeah, that's just not gonna happen. Yep. That's about, I'm about, sorry, about that's 80 uh, feet away from the basket there. It's a one-on-one. You know, on one. It's a good effort. We know what he had in mind, but that's a, just a play you need to go back to in the half court and set up your defense. Tangelo Harris in the game, and we have uh, one and one. Score tied at 23. And Tangelo Harris for the one and one. This will be their fifth free throw attempt of the game. Two for four so far. It's good. You know, Coach Chumbler, he's gonna be pleased to see that the Stars are shooting four for four right now at the free throw line. You know, I always thought there's no excuse to miss a free throw, you're wide open. That's why they call it free. That's right. Kimler with the rebound. DJ bringing it up the court. Get the Kimbler. And, ooh, are you supposed to catch? Those are pretty. Oh, he, I thought we might get a foul there. Walk, walk, walk. You go to a floor like that, it's called walking. Right? Yes. You know, I wonder if he was just going to let it go because we, we had the ball. I don't you know, know why he was going to let it yeah. go. <laughs> Foul there, there on number 20, Aiden Burton. That's his second. DJ Washington's line for two. And the first shot is up. No good. Into the game for Bethel, number 10 and number 32. That's Bryson Creer and Matt McKinney. And into the game for us, I think that's 20 back in, right? Yes, Jake Williams. Oh, good. Well, that's sure. Oh, for two there on that trip. Yeah, I jinxed this while ago, and I said four for yeah, four. Yeah, you know we were really doing Shouldn't good until that. you said that. I'll just keep All my right. mouth shut. They got they had uh, Mr. Career back in the game, and I believe the uh, guard play, point guard play, would be a lot better. And there was a nice rebound. Dix went up there and got that. That's good. Zach Kimber around the outside, three point shot up, no good hit. I don't even know if it hit the net when it went through. Yeah. 
you know, I don't have a problem with Jake Williams shooting the ball at all, but it's, it's nice to see that if he would come back in and get a little feel for the basketball, you know, he just came straight off the bench and, yeah. you know, and, and that does play an effect on it. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, Davion Anderson back in game number 33. He's taking it out of bounds. And back to Davion. Yeah, I think that's what you ought to do, give it back to the, the point guard with the low number. Yeah, I was gonna say, man, yep. if that wasn't if that wasn't walking, we didn't have no walking. Yeah. <laughs> A little slow on the whistle. And they're pressing. And they're up by one by now already. Yeah. We're gonna see how we can uh respond to pressure here. Good ball. And good three middle. coming down the court. It's no good. And he says it's ours. I think he missed that, don't you? You know, I'm not quite sure on that one. Yeah, he did. You know, we don't know. You just say you don't know. <laughs> nice little Twenty jump shot with a there. nice little under control Jake jump shot. Williams. Jake Williams looking good. How many has he got so far? Twelve points for Jake. Twelve. Williams. He's looking good out there. He's got almost half our points. I like the way he sets up and really takes. Wow. You know, Ken, he has he has great rotation on the basketball. He has he has beautiful rotation. Folks, you see a guy that goes up like he does. That that takes a lot of work, a lot of practice. You did that. Yes. And that, that's hard to do. Repetition every single day. You can tell he's been practicing and it's showing off in game day. They're letting little bumping go. We're playing a little matchup zone around the here. outside. Good shot. DJ Washington DJ with a real good drive and layup. And we're back up by three. But we're not now. Tied at 27. 7 38 to go. Ooh. Whoa, they didn't see that one. And he knocked over. Our player Jake down, down. but nice, hey, that's nice right. way to look ahead there. You know they're they're letting them call it right here. You know I feel that's a foul. I feel like, but you know the referees. Now on, on know. that play, I thought that number ten should have got the foul underneath. Yes, and and it's hard to call uh -huh. that. I, I'm not uh, complaining. But I'm just saying that that twenty one good good shot. Andy Walquist, I met his dad earlier. He was excited. Double drill. Yep. Andy Walquist from Massac County. Six foot seven center. That's what I like to see. Six foot seven. All right, we have a full timeout on the court. Let's take a one minute break. This is West Kentucky Stars basketball action. Leading scores right now, we got Jake Williams with 12 for the Stars and Whitman with six for the Wildcats. All right, Jake. Oh, a little block shot there. He wasn't expecting that. He was as surprised as we were on that one. Number 11's having a hard time getting that ball out of his hands, yes. isn't he? <laughs> Zach Kimber with the ball. 
Lives it to Washington. Washington. Ben Dix on the outside. Is it back to? Yeah, that was Kimber Zach, shooting a three. Zach Kimber, and I, yeah. I fear. I stress, he should not be doing that. Oh my goodness, That's did you see number 33? He grabbed him with both hands yeah. and he didn't have very good luck, did he? That's intentional there. I'll Man, <laughs> that, I, I, I haven't seen that for a while. Wow. He just grabbed him with both hands and he, and he didn't even come close to yeah. stopping him. All right, into the game, number 12 and number 55 for Bethel. That's Har Hayden Carey and Tangelo Harris. DJ trying to redeem himself here. He missed he missed two his last trip. And he makes this one. All right. Five points for DJ Washington. 32 to 27. Stars back in the lead by five. He liked to move him back with that uh, rear end, didn't he? Yes. He's got big numbers there. Oh, he's lucky he didn't get a double on that one. All right, that's number 15 on the shot, Zach Richardson. He has five points now. On the drive. Took it away from him. That's a good job. 15 was fouled on the play. Number four, I believe, wasn't it? Yes, Ben Dix there. That's his first. Ben Dix first. Everybody in the bonus now. Uh, this is a two-shot foul. Zach Richardson. Uh, puts the first one up. It's good. I thought it was going to miss. All right, for us, number one, Kevin Welch. And for them, number three, Rico Brightman. Richardson at the line tonight. He is three for five. Looking to add on to that. Three Coming for five. Up. Well, if he makes one, it's not too bad. But if he misses another one, that ain't good. Yeah. Hey, he made it. That's yeah. 66. Point four for six. <laughs> Point six, 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 yeah. seven, right? <laughs> All right. Throw it around the outside. Three-point shot. Up. No good. Hit five on the drive. He's looking. He did a little dipsy and a little doodle, and he put it in at yeah. Angelo Harris. Harris had a big impact on this game, but that's his first two points. You know, it's not always about scoring. You know. No, no, heck no. You got to have rebounds. You got to have a point guard. He, my, our man got just a little got, cold there. Jake cold Williams here. a little bit cold. Shot up, no good. And if they had to call that, if he'd have just grabbed, taken his hand away, they would have let yes. it go. Yes. He just had to hang on there for a little bit longer. Number 11 with the foul at the line for the one and one. Will be Andy Walquist. Andy Walquist at the line for the one and one. These are his first attempts of the game at the free throw line. Now he must be coming in for Andy Walquist. Yes. First one is good. Three points there for Andy. And this is our big gentleman. And I say him gentleman because as big as he is, what else would you call? That's right. 50, uh, Lawrence Johnson be coming in the game, take Mr. Walquist's place. Right. And he said, no, nah, I'm not ready to come out. From Riverdale, Georgia. Riverdale, Georgia. My goodness. Love they Georgia find them High all? School. Brazil, Georgia. That's right. Driving St. around, Lewis. trying to put a shot up, and I'm surprised they didn't get Kimbler with a foul there. 20. Ah, he's back. He's back, folks. Jake Williams with two. 4.35 to go in the first half. We're up by two. It's been a very competitive game so far. It's been fun to watch. And with the rebound, number one over to Walquist. Walquist puts it down, puts it up, and in. That was a good, that was getting control of yourself and not uh, turning it over. That was a good job. 22 bringing it down. I don't think 22 ought to be handling it too much, do you? No. 
especially with Kevin Welch there gardening. Yeah, and he's got a lot of pressure right that there. That doesn't have. But hey, uh, that's okay for us if he. Yeah, it doesn't does. have very good future. Yeah. <laughs> Good defense that was by a Jake. nice, nice defense and a nice pass out. And, oh, I'll tell you, that was a heck of a shot. D.J. Washington made that shot. And that was, that's what you call under control. Yeah, you know what, he got himself right before he went up. He knew he was going to get the contact. He absorbed the contact just like your coaches teach you. And, you know, you see good results. Lawrence is back in the game for the Stars, and uh, there's a bunch of people in here. The, the lineup is number 15, Zach Richardson, number 32, Matt McKinney, number 33, Davion Anderson, and number 22, Tyler Rumney, still in the game, and number 10, Creer. And we turned it over. I gave you all of them because there was four came in. And it wasn't until I started giving names before I realized Rumley was the one that was still yeah. in there. And he's not the one I would have left in. Oh, my goodness gracious. That was a nice tap out. Oh. Oh, 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 that almost hurt me. DJ with that. Just on the, the play before, we were talking about how controlled he was. And then... You know, just a little bit later, you know, you see how, uh, you know, not controllable he is. <laughs> that was a heck of a, a steal, though, but he just yes. couldn't. And he almost. Kevin Welch there. Kevin Welch him. almost got And there was two-point shot. Is there DJ again? And they got him underneath. And he held on to the. The hoop to try to keep from yep. hurting gave himself. A, gave him a technical there because he hang on the rim. Right well, I, I think so. that's a bad call because he was trying to keep himself. Trying to I mean, what do you himself. think? Well, I can see your point of view, uh, but I see Russ there, Mr. Referee. You know, if, if you hang on the rim for, if you go out there and grab the rim, or if you hang on the rim too much after a dunk, nice. you know, I guess that's right. the rules. But I, you know what? I think you have All right, if you want to be that way, Jake. Well, it's, now it's they good get to be different. Uh, two shot technical, and Mr. Creer will be the one to put it up. And first one is good. Second one's good. And into the game for the Stars, Kilder Gonzalez. Kilder's got two fouls, doesn't he? Kilder has one foul. One foul? One okay. foul. You might be thinking of Pablo Bianchi. He has two fouls. Yeah. And Anthony Lee has two fouls. That is our deepest foul trouble. But they're not in the game. That's a big thing. Yeah. And right now, folks, uh, Zach is trying, Zach Kilder is trying to find his, uh, his way. Yeah, you know, he wants to be able to get in there. You know, he's coming in as a sophomore. He wants to be able to find his groove. Uh, you know, I, he's been trying to type the basket a little bit more, and I feel like that's what he needs to do um, to get the, the rhythm and the feel for the basketball. I think there's one thing he definitely needs to do on it. He needs to control himself yes. and leave himself enough room to make a layup because these guys are as big and, as he is, and the ones that aren't can jump. Yes. <laughs> All right, 22 with a shot up. It is no good. And with the rebound, number Lawrence, fifth, Johnson, Lawrence Johnson with it. And Jake Williams throws it around the outside. Back to Jake. And the three-point shot up, no good. And that was a good, Johnson was a nice good rebound. way to get rid of it. And nope. that was that was what I was talking about, yep. but he didn't make it. Yep. That was that was good. That's what we like to see there. Tack the basket. And it's over the basket, out of bounds. 40 to 37. Stars in the lead. 221 to go. And into the ball game. 55. Tangelo Harris. 
And Kevin Welsh bringing it down the court. I'm anxious to see how Kevin does this year. Last year he was a little hot and cold. Uh, hopefully this year he's a little bit more under control. Levin put it in. Tilder Gonzalez with the two and the foul. In the ball game for Bethel, Austin White, number 11. Gonzalez going to the line. He's two for two there this evening. Let's see if we can make it three for three. We put it up, no good. And a little fight for it. Yep, just and we just the basketball there. couldn't quite get it. Kimbler with the rebound. He's getting some rebounds. That's one yeah. thing I got to say. Three point shot up. It's yep. good. He's just trying to prove you wrong. I hope he does, <laughs> but I don't. I don't think uh, the percentages of that shot. You know, it's always good to see it go in. He's what is he shot three and he made one. That's that's not bad. That's and I'll put a fifty percent. <laughs> Eleven three, three point shot up. That's good. They left him wide open, and he said, I know what to do with this. That's his second three of the evening. And Kilder Gonzalez. Three-point shot up. It's good. Jake Williams Jake. there with 17 points. 17 now. points. You know what? That reminds me of a guy. I can't remember his name. <laughs> Three threes. Oh, Jake. that was a nice run and jump shot. Uh, oh, I'll tell you, Tangelo Harris, that was a pretty Harris. shot. I'd like to see uh, Lawrence Johnson get a touchdown here in the paint. That was out of control. Got to get back on defense. Three point shot up. It's no good. And Jake with the rebound. 15 seconds on the clock. And the shot clock is off. That's uh, Rick Tippin's favorite time. Shot clock off. Oh, yeah, Lawrence Johnson there. He needs to be ready to catch the ball with two hands there. Uh, two seconds here on the clock. A little double dribble. Yes. Just a little bit. What kind of play we got here, Ken? Throw it down the court and hope somebody <laughs> can put it in. The And the score at halftime. Stars 48, the Wildcats 42. Let's take a couple minutes off, and we'll be back. Uh, this is West Kentucky Stars basketball action. Before the start. All right, I'm back here with Jake Scott. Jake, 
what did you think of the first half? Tell me your you know, impression. I think we both teams started off pretty sloppy, uh, but you know that is understandable. Both teams of uh, the first game here. Uh, I like the pace of the game. I like the pace of the game. I like a high score in basketball game. You know, I like to shoot the ball, and Jake Williams, he sure is filling it up uh, this evening, but so is Bethel as well. I love to see the three-point shots, uh, especially when they go in for the stars. Uh, but, you know, it's a 48-42 basketball game right here. It's been very up and down. Uh, the referees are getting their money's worth this evening. You know, for all the whistles, all the fouls. I don't know how many there is, but maybe our stats group, our stats guru, Gary McLean. Gary yeah, he'll be McClain. over here later. He's over and, uh, there. But you know, I, I like where the stars are at right now. <laughs> uh, I think we, we were just, just we were laughing. He walked in front of the camera. I, <laughs> but I that's don't know right. why that was hey, funny. That's okay. <laughs> uh, I thought that uh, we had some people out of control, but they're learning. Yes. You know, when it's the first game, uh, you know what? I bet you that's what Mike Chumbler's talking about right now in the locker room. You know, you want to be able to go and, and go into the lane, but you want to be able to go in there controlled. You want to be able to go in there balanced. And to go put, when you go in there, you want to be able to put up a good shot. And, uh, you know, that's what it's all about. And I'm sure Coach Chumbler is addressing that to his team uh, as we speak. Zach Kimbler, uh, I, was, I was down on him a little bit, yeah. but the last shot he took inside, he took it like – you need yep. to take it yep. under it control strong. with a little bit of spacing so yep, that strong. he could uh, have a chance to make it without it getting blocked. He had a couple blocks, yes. but that's called uh, learning. Yes. And he did make you one know, three, it's, it's and that's a, enough for his shooting from threes. Yep. Yep. What you do know, you think? You know, this, this <laughs> even, even here at this basketball level, it's a lot different than high school. You know, just the physicality of everything. And you know, and uh, Zach Kimbler, he's still learning that. And so is Pablo and Gonzalez. And you know, it's a, and it just takes time to be able to get a feel of the referees, how they're gonna call things. You know, hand checks a lot different in college. Um, you know, the team, the people who played last year, um, you know, with a 35 second shot clock, they only have five, you know, 30 seconds this time, five seconds, you know. You think that'll really have much of an effect on college ball? You know, uh, for the for the t for certain teams, possibly for the teams who want to, to slow down and run their sets. Uh, but for Absolutely. for tonight, you know, I don't think. Well, we might have seen the shot clock go down to ten, and maybe a, just a few I think times. There was one <laughs> shot that was a little uh, one he didn't want from us. Yes. That uh, he wished he uh, you know had a little bit more time. Yes. Yeah. But uh, all right, folks, let's take a couple minutes and we'll be back with uh, hopefully with Mr. Gary yeah. McLean. He looked over this all way. I, I don't know why was, he looked. All we had to do was smile at him and he, there you was, go. he, he came. <laughs> this West Kentucky Star basketball action. The WKZTC Clemens Fine Arts Center presents its 2015-16 Arts in Focus season. The Time Jumpers, featuring Vince Gill, Kenny Sears, and Ranger Doug Green. Quinn Sullivan in concert. Winona and the Big Noise, stories and song. Patty Griffin, Sarah Watkins, and Anaya Mitchell. Barrage 8. For tickets, visit artsinfocus.org. All right, folks, back here at Hall's Gymnasium with our stats guru, Gary McLean. Gary, what did you think of the first half? Well, I thought the first half went very well. There was a lot of turnovers. It was fast-paced. Uh, I'm sure a lot of uh, jitters for it being the first game, and so I saw a lot of that. But, you know, I think uh, I think all in all, it was, it was a pretty exciting game that first half. Uh, Jake Williams didn't seem to be too nervous. No, he d it didn't seem to uh, affect him too bad. And, of course, we didn't expect it to, you know. So. Well, he's got the right name. <laughs> That's Jake. right. All right, give me the stats for this first half. All right. We had uh, – let me 
pull up a sheet over here and get everybody's first name in here. Anthony Lee, he had a total of five points. Kevin Welch, he had a total of two. Um, DJ Washington had a total of eight. Um, let's see here. Ben Dix did not score. Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Kilder, uh, he, he got us a total of six on that board there. But look here at Mr. Williams. He just kind of showed out this first half. He got 17. So let's see here. Who else uh, helped out with the score in there? Andy Walquist uh, had five. Um, pa uh, Pablo Bianchi had two. Pablo got in foul trouble real early. So we yeah, had to he's going to have to learn him. how to handle that. Yeah, we had to protect him just a little bit. And uh, uh, Kimbler, he had three. Zach Kimbler did, and that's a total of 48. We had 65% uh, shooting on the two-point range. We had 38% on the three-point range and 64% on the free throws. Now for Bethel, let's see here. We had uh, Bratima was six. Creer with four, White with six. Richardson was high for them during the first half with nine points. He seemed to be a little bit of everywhere, you know. Uh, Burton was two, Rumley was four, McKinney was four, Anderson was two, and I can't read here. Tangelo. Tangelo Harris, he had five. For a total of 42 points, there was nine. Pretty balanced scoring. Yeah, nine point. I mean, nine fouls called on us during the first half. Ten fouls on them, and here we are at halftime. I thought that uh, we learned a, a few players out there learned a little bit. For instance, I, I was given uh, 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 Kimler a hard time, <laughs> but. He, his last shot he took, he missed it, mm -hmm. but he took it under control, underneath. He had room, and he's got two blocked shots, yep. two of his shots blocked because he didn't provide himself any room. Yeah. And he, I say he learned from that. Now, yeah. if he doesn't take any more three-point shots, it'll be fine with I me. think it'll be okay, bless his heart. I mean, he, <laughs> he, he was a little bit far out there when he tried that, but, you know, yeah. when, when, when you feel a little froggy, you know, you got yeah, to go he with He loves it. that so, three-point yeah, shot, yeah. doesn't he? Well, I remember last year, he'd just <laughs> kill him. He wanted to shoot that three-point shot every time he got a chance. And, hey, we got to give a shout-out to you for you being back again this year and oh, yeah. Jacob Scott for, for taking over the Especially Jacob Scott. And so uh, we're excited to work with you guys. It's going to be a great season. We had old Justin drafting last year, and I think he told me he was going in the service. Is that? I believe you? that's what I heard too. Yeah. I, I wouldn't throw the farm out there for it, but well, uh, he did a good job last year, and we were happy to have him. I got and, you. Uh, yeah, great. Let's take a thirty-second break, and we'll be back with the coach. Uh, this is West Kentucky Star basketball action. back here with Coach Chumbler. Coach, what did you think of the first half? Well, uh, we played fairly well. We scored a lot of points. We, we gave up a lot of points, too. We got to tighten some things up defensively, but they're playing hard. I, you know, I'm pleased with the effort so far, and hopefully we'll make some adjustments defensively and play a little better in the second half. What would you tell them at halftime? Uh, we got to watch the back door. We're not helping enough on defense. We're getting beat. I, I would say 95% of their points are in the paint. And as long as we help and continue to play hard, we, I think we'll be okay. I hope we'll be okay. All right, what do uh, you think about that, Jake Williams? Uh, he can shoot the basketball. I, you know, I'll say that to anybody. He can shoot the basketball with anybody in the country. Is he not? Uh, what I like that I, I commented in the first half is his, is his uh, poise is, is really, really what gives him all the, all the shots. shots. 
Right. Right. Now, exactly. You know, he, he handled the ball well. Jack, and Jack doesn't force him to do anything. If anything, Jack got a pass up the line. I like that. He doesn't need much space to get his shot off. Everything is in his hand. It looks like it's going in. He missed five shots. I'm okay with that. I believe he'll hit it next year. Thank you. 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 All right, all right, I'll let you get back with your team. Uh, we'll take, we'll take a one round of break. Let's get stars, 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 stars the basketball action. action. Clemens Fine Art Center presents its 2015-16 Arts in Focus season. The Time Jumpers, featuring Vince Gill, Kenny Sears, and Ranger Doug Green. Quinn Sullivan in concert. Winona and the Big Noise, stories and song. Patty Griffin, Sarah Watkins, and Anaya Mitchell. Barrage 8. For tickets, visit artsinfocus.org. All right, folks, I'm here. Introduce yourself. Uh, Ryan Buchanan. Ryan Buchanan. You used to play a little ball around here, didn't you? I did about three or four years ago. Did you uh, you recognize that three-point shot by Zach Kimbler? Uh, he, Zach was a little bit younger than me, I'm pretty sure, but, yes, I do remember it. See, I, I, I remember you'd like to throw one up, but uh, you wouldn't throw one up unless it was uh, the game was decided. Yeah, uh, I waited for the last probably 30 seconds of the game before I decided to put up mine. What would you think about this team out here? I think they have a lot of speed to them. Uh, I think once Lawrence learns the post moves and learns to handle the ball a little more, they're going to be an all-around great team. Uh, the guards know how to handle the ball, and the big man, once he learns it, hey, I don't think there will be much stopping these guys. All right, I just wanted to give him a little chance to tell you all, uh, you know, spend his wisdom. And we'll take 30 seconds. We'll be back for the start of the second half. This West Kentucky Star basketball action. Thanks for being here. Thank you. All right, folks, we're back here at uh, Hall's Gymnasium. The halftime score, 48, the Stars, the Wildcats of Bethel, 42. We're ready to start the second half. And we have Pablo back in there. Hopefully, Pablo will be a little less aggressive. Yes, he's got two fouls. Hopefully, uh, we can keep him in there a little bit longer. Than They're looking time. for the open shot. Three-point shot up. It's good. That was a good one, I tell you, exactly Lee. The with way a we started point. the game. That's a way to start it. And their career is moving around the outside, trying to find somebody. And uh, we've got good oh defense. Uh, Jake Williams. That's Jake, his, do you hate watching foul. somebody reach as much as I do? Oh yes, it's just annoying. It, I, and I don't. You know mean, what? I probably did it more than anybody. I don't mean to to be smirched the gentleman, but that's the lazy way to play. Yes, that's right. Basketball. Number 24, the Wildcats puts it up. Burton with one, he's got one more. That was the first one on Jake. And it's good. Whoa. <clears throat> 
just a little foul on number 22. I mean, Rumley didn't really mean it. Yeah. But I'm telling you, he's probably the slowest man on the court <laughs> besides Zach Kim. Very possible. Very possible. And uh, slow and and not too tall is not a good combination in basketball. <laughs> That's right. What we got up there? Some perspiration on the floor. Yeah, they we fell get down. All the, get all the sneakers we can in there. All right, Lee be taking it out of bounds. He'll be guarded by Creer. Throws it in to number one, Kevin Welch. And Welch is looking around, gives it to Pablo. Pablo throws it over to Lee. Lee looking for somebody. Nobody's moving. Don't like that. Don't yes. like that. Now oh, they've started moving. moving. Very good point. Inside. Oh, that was beautiful. Kilder Gonzalez with a beautiful little, little jump hook. Nice. Ooh, he let him. Yeah. Ooh. I thought that was off him, but it was. Eight points for Kilder Gonzalez. Nice steal. And Jake Williams with the steal. He goes up. Gives it to Kilder Gonzalez. He puts it in. That was a nice move. Yes, he was, was. going to get it blocked. He just handed it off, and that was the end of it. It was a nice backdoor cut. Yeah, just enough defense to keep him from making the shot. Two-point shot up, and it's good. Kilder Gonzalez with it, and... I tell you what, this Bethel coach is no dummy. Yes. He knew it was time to be calling a little 30-second timeout. Yep. You know, Ken, that, that goal down on the on the is that the south end or north end of the gym that, that Anthony Lee just made that jump shot on, you know, had the shooter's row. That that goal down there is the is the nicest goal I've ever shot on. I've 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 seen shots in that goal that I would miss any other gym. But that goal right there, they'll go in. They got a shooter's role. That's what every shooter likes to see. Well, you also like it. It's in front of your uh, coach in the That's second right. half. Yep. Also and it's in when front the of team, the... when the game is really on the line. And our wonderful cheerleaders. Shout out to Sarita Robinson there. For... Yeah, our cheerleaders with their pink uh, breast cancer awareness. Uh, want everybody to be aware of uh, breast cancer. It's uh, cancer is a bad deal. I just went through a little bout of it, and uh, everybody get their checkups. And a good steal by Pablo Bianchi. Pablo got a little bit of jump. Now that I don't understand why that uh, Bethel Wildcat player just went up and kind of looked at it instead yeah. of grabbing that rebound yes now that that's not, a, did it did the ball go behind the basket there I, I i think he just watched it and went out of bounds we're all seeing how good pablo is at tying his shoe yeah <laughs> took him a little extra time yeah. we're gonna have to talk to him about that all right kilder gonzalez with a nice Wrap around, lay in, foul on the play. And the coach for the Wildcats says, I got to do something. Something ain't working. Now he's going to bring 32 into the game. The foul was on Brittman. That's his second. You call it Brittman? I call it Brighton. Brighton. What do you call it? Oh, Brittman? It looks like Brightman to me. I go right, we'll call say. it Brightman. You had the years on me. 11, Killer Gonzalez. Thanks a lot for that. <laughs> Killer Gonzalez. Older and wiser. For the three point conversion. And it's good. And we're up by 15, 59 44. We're starting out good in the second half. Now we need to keep it going. Yes, 10 to 1 run here to start the second half. Man, I'll tell you, that was, uh, that was interesting. That's, that's ours. At 15, I don't know what he thought he was. Yeah, uh, uh, he was had the inside. He knocked it out of bounds, and he and he was trying he to say it was like a wildcat ball. And I, oh Jake, you see Jake? He put some moves on you. Yeah. He can handle that ball. 
Anthony Lee looking over, gives it off to Welch. Back to Jake. Jake with the driving, and he was fouled on the play. Charge. 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 Whoa. Charge well, I, that sounds like yeah. they had better angles. How many charges we had in this game? Yeah, we've had three, a couple, four. three. Yeah. Oh, Jake kissing up to the referee. You don't yeah. do that no more. Yeah, I always had to kiss up to referees. You always want to get fouls called for you. All right. Moving around the outside, good defense, good defense. 15 on the drive, puts it up, no good. Uh, out of control on that putback. Pablo Bianchi, man, I'll tell you, that was smooth, folks. Nice shot. A nice little, little stop and pop. It was a great rhythm jump shot, four points for Pablo. Ooh, a little elbow there. A little elbow. I don't like to see elbows in basketball. End of the game, DJ Washington comes in for Kevin Welch. And into the game for the Wildcats, Austin White, number 11. That is nice, and it was a foul. Jake Ooh. Williams' is third foul. Well, that's his second, right? Yep. Eight, a third. Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure. Uh, Jake says he's not sure he saw what he thought he saw. <laughs> First shot up. That's good. And a three-point play Burton. is completed. Burton's two for three from the free throw line. Jake Scott, uh, Jake, I, I knew I'd say it sooner or later. He just matched it. <laughs> Jake Williams, three-pointer. Four threes for Jake Williams tonight. Throw down the court to Kilbert Gonzalez, and it's knocked out of bounds off of Wildcat. I knew I'd call Jake Williams Jake Scott sooner or later. <laughs> Into Jake Williams. Jake Williams on the drive. Looked like he got him with a little body. Bianchi throws it over to Kilder Gonzalez. He's on the drive and shot outside. It was a foul before the shot on the pass. Foul on number 11, Austin White. That's his third. And we're taking it out of bounds. Over to Jake Williams, no good, and with the rebound. Tangelo Harris, he throws it down and he's lucky he didn't get it no, stolen away. It's up and it's good. And that was that was as much out of control as you can get and still make it. That's right. <laughs> Killer Gonzalez on the drive. He gives it over to Jake Williams and Jake couldn't handle the pass. It was not a good pass. You know, Kim, we got a 15-point lead here, but, it, you know, the stars are just standing around a little bit too much for me. You know, they want to – we need to be able to pass the move, pass the move. Ben Dix is back in the game. He's into the game for Killer Gonzalez. And into the game is Zach Kimbler, and he's in for Jake Williams. That's a good move right there. you got to give him a couple seconds to uh, – yes. Get himself under control and explain to him not to foul. Nice shot, 20, put up a nice shot, put up another one, but he didn't make either one of them. Nice rebound by Pablo. Golly. That's his shot. That must be his shot. That's a. I, that's gonna be hard to defend. Yeah. I don't care who you are. That was a one man show right there. Rebounded, went down and shot a jump shot. Wow, what a pass out. That was great vision. <laughs> uh, Kimner with another three-pointer, I swear. He's going to give me a headache before I get done. Three-point three shot point for Zach Richardson. Richardson. 
what they call a six-point swing right there. We yeah. missed a three, and they come down and hit a three. Yeah, it's, uh, we're going to have to really. The Wildcats will shoot the three in a hurry. Yeah, into the game, number three and number 30 for the Wildcats. Three is Rico Brightman and number 30, Josh Harris. And we need to have a nice controlled, good percentage shot this time. Over to Pablo, and there was no foul called. So I guess there wasn't any. Into the game, number 22, Tyler Rumley. For the Wildcats. Wildcats of Bethel. They're down by 14. And this is their chance to catch up some because we're not really offensively, we're not doing what we need to do. Yes, a lot of standing around. Now, I don't know. That looked like there was about three tie-ups on that one, yeah. and they finally called a tie-up. And oh, did. Oh, on the good. alternate possession, it goes to the Wildcats. Oh, Into the game, number 11, Austin White for the Wildcats. Shot clock's winding down, and steal on number three going in for the layup. DJ Washington, and it's back to 16. That's something we need right now. We need to put a stop to it. And number 22, Mr. Uh, Rumley got a uh, poked in the eye, it looks like. He's coming over to the sideline, and he's being replaced by number 15, I believe it was, Zach Richardson. Creer. On the drive, and he just, wow, I'll tell you, we're lucky he yeah. didn't make that. Yeah. That was a nice little move there. That was a nice move and wide open. Now, that was yeah. good. That was good. He went in and, and got a foul. He's been shooting enough threes that they had to uh, come out and take a look at him. Zach Kimber with two. 10 Harris will be coming back in after the first attempt. And uh, uh, number 20, number 20, Aiden Burton also coming in. And uh, uh, we had a little thing Harris. there that's going to get somebody in trouble. Nick, he didn't bother to really check in. Yes. And that, uh, that that's uh, something that they scores, don't like, folks. Yeah, that scores table, they'll take uh, care They of let that. him go with that one. And Kimber with his second one. Good. And Krieger moving the ball around the outside, looking for somebody to get open. Nice driving layup, Aiden Burton. Nice pass there. See, this is where the starters were kind of standing around on the on the weak side. We still need to see movement. And a foul on the drive. Good things happen when you drive to the basket. What did they say? You show them the ball, you take it away, get the foul, and then you try to put it in. Yeah. Exactly right. Anthony, Anthony Lee. At the line for two. He has 10 points, trying to add on to that. Ooh, no good. And into the game is Mr. Walquist. You know, Ken, the big question is, uh, are we going to get to 100 points? I'm not trying to jinx this already, but we're on, we're on a little early for that, but we'll say – it's always a fan favorite to get to 100 points. And that's in. It's 70 to 54 on a pretty good pace. End of the game for the Wildcats, number 33, Davion Anderson. And 22 has been taken care of. He's back on the bench there, and uh, I think his eye is going to be okay. What in the world was that? 
<laughs> I didn't see the foul. It was a foul on DJ Washington. That's his first foul. Oh, excuse me, that's his third. 15 would love to put a shot up there. He hasn't got much that I've seen so far. I'm sure he's got more than he's showing. Three-point shot up, no good. Walquist with rebound, gives it over to Lee. Lee on the drive. Lee looking for the layup. Lost control of it. Puts a two-point shot up, no good. He, he did a lot of things, but none of them really good. That was a long first step, wasn't it? I'm sure it was. Yeah, there's and number 15. Three-point shot up is good. That's his, that's his third three-pointer of the game. Is that uh, how many points he got? 11. Three threes and a, and a jump well, shot. He, he's doing better than I thought he was. And, he, and he's also four for six from the free throw line. So he has his number. He has 15 points. All right, it's down to a 13-point lead, and they can cut it down to 10 on this trip down the court. Creer looking over the defense. And we have pretty good defense, except for that right there. Leave him wide open, and I don't care who he is. You leave him wide open, he's gonna make it. That's a layup, everybody yeah. make a right hand layup. Now, I'm not saying anything more about number 15. That's right, now it's 17 points. Throwing it around the outside, trying to get a nice open shot. On the drive, down the lane, reverse layup, no good. 33 with the rebound, and we get the steal on the turnover. Oh, that was ugly. Zach Kimbler, he towed the line there. Now, still had plenty of time on a shot clock. Should have just pulled that one back out and tried to run something. I, I think three is uh, going to have to calm down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, DJ has been putting up some shots and he hasn't been making anything because he's not been under control. That's right. Yeah. Creer throws it to the outside. They tried, two guys tried to steal. Creer on the drive inside. No good. And with the rebound, Ben Dix. Almost tipped up in the, into the basket yeah, there. Yeah, I'll tell you, that was, uh, <laughs> that was an interesting. Hands. Two hands. And we're happy to see 22, Tyler Rumley, back in the game. He's obviously he's okay. Might have a little bit of a shiner tomorrow. but uh, And Anthony Lee bringing it down the court. We're only up by 11 now, and we need to get us some points. Kevin Welch on the drive, no good, but he went in there and got fouled. That's the important thing because uh, it's a shooting foul, but that'll be number seven on them. So we'll be in the bonus the rest of the way. And Kevin Welch has got. The foul there was on Tanzo Harris. That was his second. That's second. Kevin Welch has two points. He's two for two from the free throw line. Three for three. That's what every coach likes to see right there, free throws. Sure does make a game a lot easier to play when you make those free throws. Four for four. Especially down the stretch. Yeah. And, of course, as a coach, you have to find out who can make him down the stretch, and he walked. Woo! Boy, I tell you, did he walk yeah. it. He, I, I think he did. There, yeah. I, I, I find it amazing that some of these players actually think they don't walk when they do something that obvious. Exactly. Zero, put it up, no good. And with the rebound, Rumley, Rumley on the drive. He carried that a little bit, but who cares? 20. Yeah, Walquist got him on the shot. Walquist out of control, fouling him. Or Walquist fouled him when he was out of control. Right. The, the gentleman shooting it, Burton. And uh, that's 
That's just giving them way too much. Up, no good. Burton has eight points on the evening. How's he at from the free throw line? That was his first attempt, and he's 0 for 1. Well, good. Maybe he'll be 0 for 2. One can only hope. And he is 0 for 2. Kimbler throws it down the court to G.J. Washington. Into Walquist. Walquist throws it, turns around, and just. And Walquist with a foul, I believe. I like to correct myself. I was looking at number 22, Rumley. Number 20 was at the line. He is two yeah. for five. Two for five, okay. Excuse me. Well, he's not doing much better. <laughs> That's okay. We only, we, we limit it to uh, 100 mistakes in a year. <laughs> well, hopefully I don't get close to that number. Um. Harris now is one for two at the line. Takes three. And puts it in. Tangelo Harris into the game. For the Wildcats, number three, Rico Brightman. And for the West Kentucky Stars, number 50, Lawrence Johnson. I liked his play in the first half. He's learning, but uh, yes. he looked, he, he did a good job. Second one is in. And we have a timeout on the court. And it's a, I can't say, it's a 30 second timeout. Let's take 30 seconds. This West Kentucky Star basketball action. back here at Hall's Gymnasium. And uh, you know, Kim, we were just talking about the crowd here. We got a we got a good little crowd here for the first game. You know, that's always great to see and it's always it's gonna be better if we come out here victorious this evening. That's right, that's right. And uh, we have an eleven point lead. And we're right on the verge with ten thirteen to go. We're right on the verge of either breaking it away or letting this get way too close. Yes. This so the, the next the next about five minutes is really going to tell a lot in this game. Yes. You know, we had a, well, I believe we had it up to 19-point lead there at one time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're chipping away. So it's. We, we've been going from 15 to 19, and now we've uh, slipped back to about 11. So. Yeah. Uh, Ever since I said something about scoring 100 points. Yeah. 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 That's, that's your second mistake. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here, throw, getting ready to throw it in. Full court pressure, Zach Kimber. A little full court pressure here, man to man defense. They missed the chance to. Yeah, uh, that was a perfect yeah. type of opportunity there. Good for us, though. Oh, something happened inside. What was it? Who was that on? 33 with a hold. It was 33. Huh? And that was away from the play, ladies and gentlemen. So that's kind of hard to tell. That's right. We're over here in the other corner. Yeah. Davion Anderson with his third foul. And Kevin Welch at the line for two. Well, yeah, it had to be for two. Yeah. No, it's one and one. One and one. Yeah. I lost track of the game here. Yeah. And a steal. Well, about three steals. <laughs> that little kick ball in there, too. It looks yeah. Like. Kevin Welch throws it over to Kimbler. Kimbler eyed that three and said, no, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Anthony Lee. I'd like to see a little bit more you know, cutting On the drive, there. number three and number 50. You know, Lars Johnson is going to have to learn how to put those back. That's right. And he will. He will. But... Uh, now let's see what he does from the free throw line. Is this his first time? Yes, his first time at the free throw line. Well, we'll see. That was. And knowing any ball player that's uh, big like that, he's thinking the same thing. I wonder how what we're going to see at the line. 
That was Somebody got his uh, attention, attention to the side. He looked over to the sideline. And that's hard enough to, yeah. <laughs> to do it. Uh, and for the Wildcats, Zach Richardson back in the game for number 33, Davion Anderson. Second shot up. It's good. All right. He wasn't uh, bothered on that one, so he put it in. Maybe that's uh, a good omen. It's good for him. His first college point. And 55, moving around. Good defense. Ooh. You know, I, Kimbler just kept pushing, and he should have realized that sooner or later, if you keep pushing, you're going to get the pop. I mean, you know, once the, you the feel. The referees look at the body there. Dave, once you felt somebody on you, you push yep. it yep. because you know you got two free throws. That's right. Especially if it's right there even with you. You know if you go up, you got the free throws. Back to ten. And Let's over go. to Kevin Welch. Kevin Welch throws it inside. And I think we got it, but, boy, we need a timeout or something. I'll have two more players coming in. That's our two of our big Guys, uh, Gilder Gonzalez and Pablo Bianchi coming into the game, and uh, they're going to make it all better. That's what we hope so. Uh, That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Gilder taking it out of bounds. And if number 50 wants that ball, number 50's waving that arm. Now, if he – and number three is sitting there waiting, saying, please throw it to him. Because if he didn't throw it really high, that's right. Three was going to steal that. That's right. And you had to give uh, uh, Kilder, can, uh, you know, credit for understanding that. Yes. Anthony Lee at the line for two. They were in the double bonus now. No good. We have to make our free throws. Yep, that makes him one for three tonight from the free throw line. Eleven points. All right, here we go, second shot's up, and it's good. We're back to 10-point lead. Coming down the lane, quick, and he stole the ball away. Pablo Gonzalez over to Killer Gonzalez. Pablo Bianchi to Killer Gonzalez. I got too many Gonzalez's in there. Nah, he didn't fall, he didn't walk, he didn't move that pivot foot. He did a good job. Rumley on the weave. Gives it to 15. Puts it up. No good. A foul there on Pablo. Yeah. That's three on Pablo. But we're far enough in the game. It's time to just Lawrence let Johnson, it rip. He uh, definitely altered that shot there. Creer back in the game. For Tangelo Harris. And Brightman at the line. His For best, his first attempt of the night. It's up. It's no good. And Pablo with the rebound gives it to Kilder Gonzalez. Drives it in. No good. We got to make those close in shots. And 15 on the drive. And it was a. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. That, oh, he thought that was a. Uh, Go 10. Go 10, but it didn't look like he go 10 and made it. It was still going up. Yeah. It just barely left his hands. Yeah. That was a good job. I love to see me some block shots. That's right. Don't you? <laughs> Absolutely. Of course, you like just shots. And I've had my from shot your, from your a hand. lot. <laughs> <laughs> Not a whole lot. Killer Gonzalez. Back to G.J. Watson. <laughs> Over to Pablo. Pablo. Oh, bad pass. Bad pass. Come on, Pablo. Don't. That was that was good. You yeah. gotta make your mind up what you're gonna do on the on the defense. And he made his mind up. And a steal. Rumley with the steal. Burton, and. who made that last shot, he has 14, 12 in the second half. And who was that on? Was that on 
Double zero. Anthony Lee with the foul. And that's his third. End of the game. Number 32, Matt McKinney. And also into the game, number 33, Davion Anderson. Both for the Wildcats. Rumley makes the first one. It's a one and one. Pablo, come on. They do the same thing in Brazil. Here comes now, Jake, Jake Wood. Now we'll see what's sitting on the bench that long. That's right. How that affects Jake. I want to see his first shot attempt. And I hope, hope for his attempt. sake, I hope it's inside the three-point line. That's right. It's usually get your eye back a little bit better. He makes them both. And in the ball game, number 11, Austin White for the Wildcats. And I'll tell you, this uh, Bethel coach is really excited, trying to get his boys interested. Three-point shot up, no good. Nice rebound, put back by D.J. Washington. That was a big basket. Yeah, that was that three-pointer miss by Jake Williams. Comes off the bench. Oh, that was a walk. Creer with the three-point shot. It's up and good. Back to seven-point lead, folks. Kilder Gonzalez on the drive and put back by Lawrence Johnson. That's what we like. Good to job. Meal. Good job. Just clean everything up, big man. That's right. And Creer moving around and. Knocked out of bounds. Good defense by D.J. Washington. And Mr. Tangelo Harris back in the game. And Aiden Burden, 20, back in the game. And brings Creer out. And uh, if I was the coach for Bethel, I'd talk to Creer for about five seconds and he'd be back in the game. That's right. Now he, he really runs the floor well. He's a great floor general. Yeah. And... The steal, Jake Williams. And a dunk you very much by Lawrence Johnson. That's my first dunk you very much of the year. That was very nice. I like that. I like play there. Man, I tell you, that's big. We're back to 11. Now this is when it's put up or shut up time for the Bethel Wildcats. 6.30 to go in the game. Our defense is looking a little bit better now and a throw away. I think you said it right there, our defense is looking a little bit better. They're starting to move a little bit better. They're up on their toes and you can't play defense without getting up on your toes. Ooh. And turnover by. And Pilder Gonzalez with the steal and he knocked it off. Ooh. He, a little foul. Push there on Austin White. Yeah, yeah. That's his fourth. Uh, two shot. No, that was a, uh, it was a number of 11, Austin White. I made a mistake. I didn't think you were right. Boy, it's been known that I've been wrong several oh, times man. before. Come on, Kilder. That was put that thing in. Second missed free throw there by Gonzalez. Second shot's up and good. Back to a 12 point lead. They, Bethel Wildcats need a good trip down here. Easy call. See if Lawrence Johnson would have went straight up, but he came down. That's all the referee needs to see. Yeah, Lawrence Johnson uh, should realize that he can block that two. shot, and but he can't jump up, jump yeah. into the he guy. He could probably block, block it, it. standing flat footed. That's right. That's right. And all you need to do is be on your toes and just jump those six inches, and you'll that's have right. it. Yep. That's all a guy that's six eight. That's all he needs to do. That's right. First shot up by Zach Richardson. Yes. That's good. And we got number three and number 10 in Rico Brightman for the Wildcats. And 
Rising Creer back in the game. He didn't leave him out very long. No, he didn't. Richardson has 18 points. How about 19? And it's good. I take back everything I thought about it. <laughs> Coming down the court, gives it to Keller Gonzalez. Oh, did, I didn't see. Did that go through or did he? No, it didn't go through. Oh, okay, I did. Not, I didn't think it did, but my eyes deceived me. It was like this far away. Up top. Collision up top. <laughs> I was believe he was going up to dunk it. Yeah, he That's sure what I was. Like to see. And that was a good foul right there, too. Yes, it was. You don't let them make that. And everybody's in the double bonus the rest of the way. But with two shots, we'll be. Let's see if. Uh, I was. Ooh. Lawrence That's the third foul on uh, Rico Brightman. Yeah, it's not the prettiest looking yeah. free throw I've ever seen. Throw line. But we know who they're going to be following whenever they get a chance. Absolutely. And with the rebound, DJ Washington throws it down there to Jake. And Pablo Bianchi puts up a. That's not the prettiest. Uh, I've seen, no, that one but uh, really it, they dribbled it on the end line, so it's our ball. And we have a reset on the 32nd clock. I wonder how many times I'll say that other number. DJ over to Bianchi. Bianchi on the drive, Offensive and foul. you know he did. Yeah, he lowered he his shoulder. It. Yeah, he. Uh, he he definitely that's, lowered his shoulder. That's number four, the 5-18 to go in the game for Pablo. Yeah. Anthony Lee into the game for Pablo Bianchi. I saw a lot of good things out of him. Yes. That little stop yeah. and pop looked awful good from about 15, you know, 18 foot. Pablo has six points, so not a lot of points there. But, you know, he does a lot of other work, you know, rebounding. He knows how to block out. Uh, very nice game for Pablo. Yeah, you just got to get his uh, fouls under control. Creer moves around the outside. To Rumley, Rumley with the shot up, no good. And with the rebound, Johnson throws it out to Kilder Gonzalez and it's stolen. Oh, it, it looked pretty until he let go of that pass. And the coach is saying, get on that ball. We need a full court press. It's under five minutes and we're behind. That was a bad pass. Bad pass there. What a Creer, good decision. Creer. Wow. Boy, we lost him. Reitman with a money layup. That was a mistake, and, and this is a time that uh, we'll see if Mike Chumler understands he needs to be calling timeout. D.J. Washington with a layup. Our defense has looked a little, uh, yes. Getting a little iffy. Yeah. Killer Gonzalez with the rebound. They keep taking shots like that, missing. We'll be okay. And a three-pointer up by Jake Williams. It's his fifth three-pointer of the game. He's back, folks. 23 points, if I'm right. Creer with a nice 15-foot jump shot. No good. And definitely a foul. A no foul call? Whoa. Yeah, there was a foul there. Yeah, there was a foul. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I, I, my eyes deceive her. Back up to 13 point lead with uh, 3.51 to go, and we have a two shot foul. Jake Williams, he's a shooter, so he ought to be good from the free throw line. Has he shot any yet? He has not shot any free throws yet. He's a shooter. He has because you were a good right. shooter from the free throw line. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. See? Shooters could yep. shoot. Oh, yeah, those are the easiest ones. End of the ball game for the Wildcats. Matt McKinney, 32, 33, Davion Anderson, and 55, Tangelo Harris. Second shot's up and good. Shooters shoot. That's the way it is. Right. We're back up to 15. That little run has showed me a lot. Yes. A little perseverance right there. 
Wow. And a little walk. You know, they had it down to what, eight points there? Yeah. Seven? Yeah, they, uh, they did. They, they were looking good. But uh, we, we turned up the uh, pressure on the defense and quit making the stupid yeah. mistakes. And I guess what he did is he, the people he brought in, he explained what they were doing wrong, and they didn't have taken yeah. time out. So you know, I like the I like the five that. people that we have on the floor right now. They're all aggressive. They'll take to the basket. We got some shooters out there with Jake Williams. Wow, uh, that that he really forced that one. Yes, he did. And this man's gonna have to make some things happen. He dribbled it off his own foot. Uh, no argument on uh, Ben Dix. He fouled him. At the line will be Zach Richardson. No, it's not Jack Richardson. It's number 33, Davion Anderson. Anderson has two points. These are his first free throw attempts. I guess he made it. Yes. That was an odd looking thing. <laughs> Andy Walcris is back into the game. If any kids are watching, don't shoot free throws like this. <laughs> you know, it went two for two, but it was pretty ugly. That is really ugly. <laughs> uh, you could try to get that uh, down, and you'd never get it down pat. Three point up. No good. I don't think that's a shot the coach wanted. Yep. Ben Dix there again with a foul. That's his third one. Just riding down the court. Uncalled for. Didn't really need that there. Giving them free yep. shots. Rumley will be coming back in the game. And also Austin White for Austin White number 11, Rumley number 22. The game clock is in our favor. 2.52. Yep. We want to see as much time draw as possible. That's right. That's why I said that last one was not what the coach wanted. First shot up, no good. And we got a bunch of them, man. 11, 22, and 20. The only one I didn't mention was Aiden Burton, number 20, into the game. Second shot's up, no good. And with the rebound, Dix. That's what that you want. Pass. You want to lay up or, or take some time off the clock. That was a great bounce pass. Nice, nice steal. Nice pass. Walquist with a nice, nice shot. Great pass on that play. 94 to 77. Oh, he stepped out of bounds, but I guess he was pushed. I say yep, I I'm guess. I don't know why I said I guess. <laughs> I could see he was pushed. <laughs> That's more free throws coming up. Tanzo Harris is Hard three. not to call one when you push him out of bounds. <laughs> That's right. right. Yeah. Harris is three for four from the line. Four for five. He has eight points. Whoa. A nice throw out. He rushed that shot yeah. right there. Yeah, no reason to either. No, come on, Jake. Jake was fixing to follow him. And was that Creer? Angelo Harris. Angelo oh, Harris. Yeah, okay. Harris. Couldn't have been Creer. Creer's not in the game. Oh, bad, bad, bad. That's how you get back in the game with 145 to go. He's glad he didn't get that last time out he was asking for. That's right. 
good things happen for his team. And we have a timeout on the court. And uh, let's just keep it here. That's right. Yeah, we just got a minute 39 to go in the game. Uh, the Wildcats got their last little surge here. But I think the Stars are in a, in a great opportunity to keep this lead. Um, we've been, for the most part, taking care of the basketball down the stretch. But, you know, there's been some cases where we got a little sloppy with it. I was just watching that tumbler. And I tell you what, Can you he's do not that? too bad. Can you do that? No, could <laughs> never do it. Wouldn't even try. I'd break my neck. <laughs> Reset everything for you folks. It's 94-82. The Stars in the lead, 139 to go. Everybody in the double bonus. Uh, we'll have the basketball, and all we need to do is take care of it and not do anything stupid and make our free throws. I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> nice throw out by Jake Williams, putting it in. That's what you want. Layups or take the time off the clock. I believe that's 27 for Jake Williams. He scared me. I don't yeah. know if he scared him. He's pooping in the hollering over here. Drive, no good. And Dix yeah. with the rebound. And another layup. A great pass there by DJ Anthony Lee. And it was off of them, and it's our ball, and it's 106 to go. And we won't say what's going to happen when the next uh, basket's made. Yeah, we know what happened earlier. Career and Josh Harris into the game for the Wildcats. Now just take it down. No reason to be in a hurry. And layup, no good. It was under some pressure. There was but, a lid uh, on that basket yeah. right then. And uh, drove it in there and laid it in. Oh, over and back. What was he thinking? No, wait a minute. He wasn't thinking. That, that's a good point. Yeah. He wasn't My thinking. goodness, that was. Uh, yeah. Folks, I wanted to yell out and tell him he was on the wrong side of the line, but <laughs> it was too late. Career, I like this kid. This kid done a nice job. Every once in a while he got up a little out of control, but they, whoa. There goes the ball down the hall. That was almost right there in your lap. Yeah, not close. I have you here to protect me. <laughs> He, he's trying to get everybody in the right position. He's about yeah. to get there. Yeah. Prayer. Looking, 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 looking. Whoa, that was a long time. 20 seconds to go in the game. Three-point shot up by Creer. No good. Jake with the basketball. And I would not be surprised if that isn't it. We're not going to have another shot. Well, maybe. Well, they were trying to get the 100 points right they there. They were trying to, but that's going to be the that end of the game. And, folks, the final score, the West Kentucky Stars 98, the Bethel Wildcats 84. The next home game will be Saturday afternoon against Fisk University at 3.30. And the next game is at 3.30 on Saturday. I better write that down because I'll forget it. That's right. All right, let's take a take a minute, and we'll be back with uh, our post-game show. This is West Kentucky Star Basketball Action.
All right, folks, back here with the coach, Mike Chummer. Coach, what does it feel like to get your first win under the belt? Oh, it feels great. It's not any better than that. You know, a group like that, you know, they really push the ball. They listen. They're fun to watch. It's just a great feeling. I can't explain it. They, they played good in the second half. They had a little stretch there where their defense got really out of line. I was sitting over here saying, time out, time out, time out. But what you did, you brought in three new players. And I'm sure you talked to them on the sideline and told them what they need to do on defense. Absolutely. And, and that's, that's the luxury of having Coach Hill over there also because I can pull guys out and have Coach Hill talk to them. And, and we had some defensive lapses, and trust me, Shell Jr. will be the focus of our next practice. Yeah, we scored 98, but we gave up 84 also. And we're, we're, we're lucky. We're, we're happy to get the win. Uh, for, the, for the Wildcats, they had, uh, I thought, that career number 10 did a real good job running the club every once in a while he got a little out of control the coach brought him over and talked to him but i thought all in all he did a real good job and number 15 for them also oh i thought, I thought they played really well you know they're, they're a very very well coached team and, and they're always going to bring a good team and, and those two guys here they played exceptionally well and we're lucky to have the guards we got, too. You know, sometimes good players make you look smarter than you are. And, and you know, Jake Williams looked pretty good. The only thing I saw he didn't do real good is the start of that second half when he just piled on the, the fouls one <laughs> right after another. I, I kind of, you know, I thought, Lord, he, he just went crazy there. Well, and a couple of those fouls I don't necessarily agree with. And I told the refs, you know, if this wasn't the first game of the season, I'd be complaining, but it's too early <laughs> to play. But, you know, part of that's just from playing hard. It's the same way with some of the turnovers. Some of that, when you play as fast as we do, some of that's just built in. And as long as you can keep it, you know, to a minimum, then we'll be okay. But I, I'm, I'm very glad to have that. A couple of our big men and that – not a great amount out of, but I really like the way they play with Bianchi and Johnson. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, both of them are very physical. You know, the thing about Johnson, Johnson's only played the game of basketball three years. So his ceiling is the limit, and he's got that D1 body, and he works hard, and he listens, and he's just learning the game. Pablo, Pablo's been playing forever. He's physical. Sometimes he picks up some of those physical fouls. But he's one of those guys you want on your side. Man. What about that stop and pop? Man, he can hit that. You know, and it's not the first time he's done it. He's done it in an empty gym a thousand times. You know, and he practices that shot every time we're in here. Well, we're going to be playing. Who? Who is it? We're playing at three thirty on Saturday. Fisk University. Fisk University. Yes. Have we played them? No. I think this is the first year they've been on the schedule, and I know nothing about them. We're going to get in there and get on the. Computer. I know the name. Yeah, yeah, and I, I actually know one of their coaches. He used to referee a lot of AAU basketball. And we're going to get out there and get on the computer and try to find out what we can about it. All right. Hey, congratulations sure on the first it. victory as a college coach. It's hey. well deserved. And uh, hey, I, I know you got a lot of good people watching you right I, now. I, I, I'm, I'm blessed to have the people behind me out there. I really All am. Right. Let's take a 30 second break. We'll be back with some. Uh, some uh, player interviews are three players of the game. This is West Kentucky Star basketball action. KCTC Clemens Fine Arts Center presents its 2015-16 Arts in Focus season. The Time Jumpers, featuring Vince Gill, Kenny Sears, and Ranger Doug Green. Quinn Sullivan in concert. Winona and the Big Noise, stories and song. Patty Griffin, Sarah Watkins, and Anaya Mitchell. Barrage 8. For tickets, visit artsinfocus.org. All right, folks, back here with our first star of the game, number three, D.J. Washington. And where are you from, D.J.? Henderson, Kentucky. Henderson, Kentucky. Yes, sir. 
How many points did you average last year? I said around 16. Around 16. Yes, sir. You got, uh, how much was that, 16 today? Uh -huh, yes, sir. Well, that's pretty good. What did you think of your first game here? Oh, I loved it. What about the the team? Uh, we all work together. We got to just take care of the ball, finish and transition, hit our free throws, because that's a big part of the game, too. And whenever we're in a close game, it can hurt us, sir. That Jake looked pretty good. Oh, man, he can stroke. If he hits one, he's going to hit the next three, sir. I'll tell you what, he, he did a good job. You did a good job, uh, and we're happy to have you as one of our players of the game. Let's take a 30-second break. And let's have our second player of the game. This is West Kentucky Star Basketball Action. All right, folks, I'm back here with, uh, well, let's just be honest, player of the game, Jake <laughs> Williams. Jake, that was just one great shooting game. I'd say so. Where are you from now? Graves County. Kentucky. Graves County. Yes, sir. You had a pretty good year last year, didn't you? Yep. Yes, sir. I watched you a few times. Just a few? A few times. <laughs> I, I, you know, I root for those uh McCracken kind of uh, I bunch, so yep. I, you know, but uh, I, I admired uh, that good shot. You did a good job, and uh, what did you think of your first basketball game for the Stars? Uh, I think we did good as a team overall. We could cut down the turnovers a little bit. The ball was just, everybody had loose hands, the ball was rolling everywhere, but I thought overall we, we stuck it out and got the win, which was most important. Had little uh, laps in defense in the second half, but – after that, uh, I, I thought you really uh, – uh, and, and when you came back in after sitting on the bench for a while, I was a little disappointed with that first three you put up. I said, man, I told uh, Jake Scott, I said, Jake needs to bring in there a little <laughs> bit closer in and uh -huh. shoot that first shot. Yep. And then you put up that three and missed it. But you got back on the track yep. and did a good job. And uh, uh, welcome to West Kentucky Star Basketball. Appreciate it, sir. All right, let's take a 30-second break. We'll be back with our third player of the game. Good job. All right, folks, I'm back with our third player of the game. It's uh, Zero Anthony Lee. Uh, you ran that team pretty good out there today. Yes, sir. What did you think about the game? Um, I think we played pretty hard as far as our first game. I mean, we got a lot of games left, so, I mean, we can do better on defensive end. We just got to go and practice tomorrow or, you know, sometime next week and work on what we need to work on and get back at it just to get better. It's just a learning process for us. Practice makes perfect, and perfect practice is even better, isn't it? Yes, sir. I'll tell you, I was impressed with the way you ran the team down there. Mm -hmm. And uh, and let's be honest, if you get to where you're not quite on sync, it's a coach's job to bring you out, talk to you, and then bring you back in, right? Yes, sir. And I thought you did a good job, and I'm, I'm proud to have you a member of the, the – uh, the stars and uh, where are you from now? I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri. What school do you play? Uh, I play for a college prep at Madison. It's like a small school, public school. You know, kind of like a, it was like a beginning year school, like two years. So I mean, how uh, how many points you average last year? Um, last year in high school, I averaged my senior year, I averaged like 20. So 
you do a good job out there. You had 16 today. I was proud of watching, and I was proud to see how you played. You did a great job. All right, uh, welcome to the Stars. Thank you, Coach. Let's take a 30-second break, and we'll be back with some uh, our, yeah, there he is, our stats guru. This is West Kentucky Star Basketball Action. All right, folks, we're back here at uh, Hall's Gymnasium with our stats guru, Gary McLean. Give me a rundown on it. All right, let's do a quick rundown here. We had, uh, get everybody's name, I won't leave anybody out. Anthony Lee had 15 tonight. Uh, Welch uh, had four, and he was all over the place. He did good. Number, number three, which is DJ Washington, he had 14. Dix was not able to score tonight. He did a good job playing. Gonzalez, he had 16 points tonight. High man tonight uh, is Mr. Williams. As for Jake Williams, he had 27. Walchrist, he had four. Pablo had six. Kimbler had four. And Mr. Johnson, he had five for a total of 98 points. Uh, we had a, lot, a really good shooting night, 63%, two points, uh, two pointers, 33% for three pointers, and 59% for the free throw line. For for Bethel, we had Brenneman had eight, Creer had six, White, no, that was seven, White had six, Carey had two, Richardson had 19, Burton had 18, Rumley had six, and McKinney with six, Anderson with four, and let's see, uh, Harris had a. 84. I wasn't too impressed with Zach Richardson until all of a sudden, the second half, he started pouring yeah. them in. Yeah, well, uh, Burton did too. Aiden Burton. They, they, they was their both their go to men tonight. One was in the first half, one was in the second half, you know. Well, let's take a 30 second break. I'll be back with Jake Scott and we'll wrap it up. This is West Kentucky Star Basketball Action. All right, folks, I'm back here with Jake Scott. Jake, uh, our final score was 98 to 84. Mm -hmm. And uh, we kind of maintained. We went down no, to we nine and back up to 19. And we kind of maintained that 15-point range. That's right. And I thought that was a good first game for us. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, Coach Chummer can take a lot from this game. Uh, he'll definitely go back and watch film. They'll probably have a film session tomorrow over it um, to go into the weekend. And, you know, we got a really important game this Saturday. You know, we only have one day off, uh, probably about 50%, go about 50% tomorrow in practice, make sure everyone's still healthy. Uh, don't want to wear those legs out too much. No, no, that, uh, but they're young. That's right. They yeah, <laughs> yeah they'll do it. And I, I was impressed, and you could see the potential of a lot of people out there that really didn't do yes. a lot, like Bianchi, Johnson. Yeah. Uh, Johnson's and, you know, learning to play. And a lot of it was because of foul trouble, you know, but Johnson, you know, and, you know, a little bit more, get more games under their belt, and you know, I think they'll they'll rise to the occasion. All right, well, I'll see you back here at 330 
Saturday for Fisk, and uh, that's a name I recognize, but we'd never played them. So we never played them before. So this will be our. It'll first be time. interesting. Uh, I won't be with you. So you won't be with me. No, I got school. Well, I tell you, <laughs> that's just the way it is. Saturday. This Saturday. Man, yeah. I tell you. All right, I'll find somebody. All Good right. working with you, Ken. Uh, this is Ken Diggerson. Jacob Scott. Saying so long with the final score, 98-84, the West Kentucky Stars victorious. This is West Kentucky Star basketball action. <laughs>